saw bacon around corn. I'm oh intrigued. my gosh, yes, they have a bacon and you got all kinds of sauces and I, I this has been smelling up so good. Chef Brian with Rayleigh's here. We're going to learn how to make Mexican corn. Mexican what corn. makes that so special? What's so, what's uh, so unique about it? Nice, zesty, little spice. Carry it on a stick, anything on a stick is easy. Yeah, right? Okay, so how, how do you make so it? Do you, you boil can, it first and then? Boil it first, then hit it and get some color on it. If you're okay. outdoors, you don't need to boil it. Just throw okay. it on a barbecue and char it up. Get it a little more charred than this. Okay. And then uh, have your mixture over here, which. What's your mixture? Mayonnaise and, and sour cream. And then uh, slather all that on there. Okay. And now, with that, melt. is that kind of what crema is? or? Crema okay. is the same. This is what we're going to use in the next segment. Crema is more what we. Use in Colombia and, oh, and their, okay. their version of their corn. Then what we're going to do is going to hit it with some cotija cheese, which is to me the most important. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, look at that! Squeeze the lemon. And now this is where things can change up. You can use sriracha, or you can use some chili powder. And to finish this off, we're going to use a little chipotle chili powder, or Whoa. a lot. But this is not. <laughs> I was like, that's it. This that is just not for your. Up. This is not for a little kid here. Right, so definitely. What we're going to do is. Some I've cilantro. heard of like a, the tahine. Can uh -huh. you use that as well? Yes, you can. Yes, okay. you can. There's so many different versions of this. This is the standard street Mexican corn right there. Okay. You'll get. That's okay. great. Okay, let's just set it here. Okay. And then what do we have here? This this, this is Cody's eye. Simply bacon wrapped around corn, roasted in the oven very slowly. So you actually you don't cook the bacon first. You wrap no, it. No, you wrap and it, then... and cook it. You'll be in the oven 400 for about 20 minutes. Okay. It comes out. Not too easy to eat, but throw some butter, some. Caramel, whatever you'd like on there. Caramel's pretty good with bacon. Wait, and caramel? Caramel? Uh -huh. caramel. Okay. Uh -huh. Wow, I'm blown away. All right, this is an interesting Over name. Here this is, is baby, a baby corn. corn. We sell it at Rayleigh's in the can. You can get it fresh. Uh, it's really hard to peel. You'll get them in the months of between usually May and, and uh, September. So easier to get in the can. Easier to get in the can, yes. And uh, this is a mixture of uh, chili, soy, a little bit of uh, red chilies, jalapeno. Ooh, Ooh, so spicy. it's definitely going to give it like that, a little kick. A little kick. And what are the benefits of eating corn? Corn, uh, it helps your eyesight. It's very high, very high in uh, fiber, uh, antioxidant, one of the best antioxidants you're going to get in a vegetable, uh, mm -hmm. and a, a, a good thing to eat. Yeah, for antioxidants, more it, fun to eat than most others. And it's so great, especially this time of year. You know, yes. I mean, Michael Marks was here earlier this morning talking about corn, and it is one of those things that's great to go with a barbecue, with a picnic. It, Anything you know, at you all. make it. How Hot do you, corn. How do you do it? Do you boil? Do you grill? What's your preference? Yeah, my preference, I would boil. Okay. And the important thing when you're cooking the corn is uh, we'll go over how to choose your corn in the next segment. But five minutes in, and then pull that out. That's it. Get the water boiling through the corn five minutes, no more than five minutes, because then it starts wrinkly and gets a little bit leathery. Okay. And then you just get your favorite rub, whatever that could be. Uh, this right here is going to be chipotle. This is chipotle mm. and lime. And, uh, Ooh, now I know you Rayleigh's has a lot of recipes on their website. Are any of these? Yes, on there? yes, okay. they are. And okay. we can also, you can also request them. If you don't see them, request them. Ooh, go to I our really site. smell that. That sounds and delicious. Then, uh, this is very strong. There you, you go. can use one of these yeah. handy dandy corn holders in case you don't want to hold it. Yes. And, uh, now, are you like the across the top or big bite in? I think it's just big bite in. Big bite really in. Really slow, yeah. I'm Absolutely. Okay. Uh, important not to salt your water. Oh. Adding salt just makes it wrinkle up real fast. Yeah. Look Great. All so never oh. salt your water. Well, thank you so much for all the tips. Thank National you. Corn on the Calm Day is going to be sticking around to tell you how to pick the right one yeah. and to help you with some more great recipes. Code over to you. Yum. I feel like I